This is one of a series of videos from People's Trust for Endangered Species on how to undertake a box check for the National Dormouse Monitoring Programme, and it deals with how to handle and sex dormice. A nest has been seen in a box, so it has been taken off the tree and placed in a large plastic bag. Sleeves are rolled up, the lid and bung taken out of the bag as normal, and the corners of the box are checked. A dormouse comes out of the box. The box needs to be removed from the bag to catch the dormouse, so the lid may need replacing and the box rebunging if you think there may be more than one animal inside. Keep the sides of the bag up and with both hands in the bag catch the dormouse, being very careful not to grab the tail. Hold the dormouse in a loose fist and then let the animal run between your hands until you get it in a suitable position to sex. This should be so the animal is on its back in the palm of your hand with its nose and eyes covered by your fingers or thumb. Ideally the rump of the dormouse should be over the inside of your palm so as you roll the tail away the sex organs are easier to see. Look at the distance between the anus and the urinary opening. A larger gap in this male here than in this female. In these anaesthetized animals, the sexes can be more easily compared. The male is on the left. After the animals have been weighed, they need to be caught to be put back into the box. Again, let them run between your hands. This time you want to get them on their front with their nose between your thumb and forefinger. This means that they can easily be posted back into the box. Again, be very careful with the tail. Secure the box with a bung before putting it back on the tree, but make sure you remove the bung before you leave. Catch the dormouse in a loose fist, being very careful of the tail. Get the animal on its back to sex. Look at the gap between the anus and the urinary opening, which is bigger in males than females. And there is more information available on the PTS website.